Hi, thank you for joining in today's session. In today's session, we're going to see how to create a Bash script function button with the B1 usability extension. The B1 usability extension is part of the B1 usability package. And today, we're going to create a button. We're going to attach a Bash script to the button, which will delete all the work orders I have selected on that screen. Let's go into the system and show it to you. I'm going to production and I'm going to my work order screen. So I would like to have a button here and if I highlight several work orders, I want them to be deleted. Okay? I'm going to click, uh, I'm going to right click and I'm going to my best usability extension icon. It's the last one uh, all the way to the right. Okay, and I'm going to click Add Function button. So here my Edit Function button screen cap comes up. So I'm going to call the button Delete Selected Work Orders, for example. Here you put the name of the uh, button. Here you can put in more information for yourself. Delete Work Selected. Okay, here I'm going to tell the system I want the buttons on the right side. You can put it on the bottom, you can put it on top, or you can uh, create a right-click menu also. So I'm going to leave it as it is. And here you can decide which user should have access to this button. You select which user should see this uh, button, this configuration actually. Because if I create more buttons, this configuration can be for certain users or user groups. Um, and then you can create another configuration for other users. So now I have to attach uh, what I want the button to do. If I click in here, I have um, a best script already uh, created is a universal function and what this best script does is it deletes all my selected work orders from this screen okay what's really nice if you go from scratch if you need to build it we have a new feature right now it's called the best uh, uh, the script assistant if you do a lot of best scripting I'm clicking on here really quick and I pretend I'm doing a new one. And universal function can be a message, it can be a SQL report, a script, or an external launcher. And you can attach those to a button. For example, if you do a SQL report you want to have right at your fingertip, you create it, attach it to a button. So you have it right on the screen where you want it. Okay? Today we do a script. So if you start a script from scratch, you, you choose script, you click right in here. But what's really neat is you can, um, you have a, a script assistant now. And that will help you, assist you writing scripts. So for example, the script we are doing now, the way I, I started is, I want a message. It fills in information for me and I want a message actually, it's a question. And it fills a lot of information in for me already. And I'm going to show you the script uh, over here. If you look at it, so it fills in your script information and then you just have to modify it some. For example, the question, what you wanted to ask, do you want to delete selected work orders, and so on. So the script assistant can help you now to uh, write your best scripts. So you can do a message and then you uh, transfer it over and then you can go back and do a different command and you can combine all those commands in one script. Okay, so I'm, gonna, I'm going to pull up the script one more time for you so you see it, what it is, if you would like to copy it or uh, uh, stop the video for a little bit so you can see what this script uh, looks like and uh, how it was created. So this is my script. So I, actually I don't want to delete it. I attached it to 
my button let me get out of here i just wanted you to show it uh, to show you uh with the new script assistant so i have right here a button it says delete cells work order i have my universal function attached so i'm going to click refresh window i always like to do that you will see the button uh, being created right in front of your eyes i click refresh windows and here is my button so i'm going to highlight a couple of them so i'm highlighting 49 and 45 and i'm going to click delete uh, selected work orders now here it's going to ask me do you want to delete selected work orders and i'm going to say yes and then we look 45 and 49 should be gone i'm going to click yes and it's deleting right now and you will see they will be gone if i scroll down you will not see a 45 and i think it was 48 so you can select which work orders you would like to delete okay again i show it to you one more time this is 59 till 68 select work or delete selected work order yes and it deletes deletes it for you so you pick and choose which one you would like to um, delete so this is how you can delete selected work orders with just a button you can also do a right click if you don't like the button you can make a right click menu and do the same thing Thank you so much for joining today's session. Have a wonderful day.